and um, I thought I'd visit with you guys live while I cut my pattern out. I printed it yesterday, and so, and I will print another one in a little bit to show you guys how I print the pattern. But today I'm going to cut it out and visit with you guys. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. And, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just cutting out the pattern. I printed it. And I taped it up. Hi, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I do. And I'm just cutting out this pattern so that I can sew me up a new dress. And it will be a new pattern, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, yeah. This is a Ellian Matt pattern. Hello. I'll let you come in. So that's what I'm doing is I'm cutting out a pattern. So that I can make a dress. And wear it. Hello. How are you? Do 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 do. The syrup is the sleeve. The dress. Part of it. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Good. Still good. working on my first good. cup of coffee. Do what? Still working on my first cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee. I don't. I I get like life like no coffee. Without caffeine. Sunshine I, uh, I for me. I was already out there in the yard doing a couple of dances and cutting <laughs> up in the sunshine before I come in here. Well, that's a blessed life. Well, I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. Surely I am. I worked yard. I think if I went outside and danced in the yard, I'd fall over. Really? Sometimes I feel like I'm going to fall over, but eh, I can't. 
catch myself. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I get neighbors, they see me up there at the street. Yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, they see me up there no good. And they say hi. They're watching out for you. I tell you, I'm thankful for them. I tell you, they're all um, they're all emergency personnel. So right. I'm thankful for all my neighbors. Well, sure. You got first yeah. responders all around you. Yeah. 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 And they're quick. They're quick now too. I had um I had an incident happen where my friend yeah, my friend passed away, but my friend he come over here one morning. He come over here almost all the mornings actually. He'd pick me up he'd pick me a rose and come over here. Oh but one good. morning yeah, he was a sweetie. But one morning he come over here and he decided he was going to smoke a cigarette. Now, I don't smoke cigarettes, so he went out back there and he lit up the cigarette and he lit it up in my fire pit that was left over from the hurricane the other year back. And um, he lit up that cigarette and he chucked it in that fire pit. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. He about caught my whole place on fire. Oh my, my neighbors. Seen... <laughs> my neighbors seen it before I seen it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> I was so mean to him. I feel kind of bad for it now. <laughs> yeah, he was a sweetheart, but boy, boy, that was the thinking time. And that time, they thought the whole, the whole siding of the place was melted. I was like, oh my gosh. You, I, I went really, I went redheaded on him. Hello, 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 hello. Do you know what it's like to have a redhead go redheaded on you? No, I don't. <laughs> but that was a second time, bless his heart. He, 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 he didn't mean no harm. Right. First time. First time was the day they moved my place in. Let me tell you, <coughs> it was full of brush, right? Okay. The whole two acres was all brush land because it was a cornfield before I bought it. And that fool, I don't know what it is about these country folk around here, but they catch the place on fire. They catch the land on fire to. Cool. He did that. He did that the day they moved my home in. It's now about five feet from my home, and oh my, he about caught it on fire before it was even here. Wow. <laughs> but he meant no harm. Now he meant no harm. Mm -hmm. He meant no harm. He is sure to turn my red hair gray for real, for real. I think he was smitten with you. Huh? I think he was smitten with you. Yeah, we dated, we dated, we messed around for 27 years, so. My God. I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 I think so. He's a pretty good guy. I mean, he was, he, he tried, he had a good heart. He really did. Yeah, and he'd sing to me all the time. 
He would. Are you sitting here? Are you sitting here when I'd sew? And he'd sing to me and watch movies. So, I didn't come in here for a long time, but. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Asheville. That's up the road. I'm in Robson County. Thank you. Oh, well, a lot of Asheville's out there. Huh? Say, there are a lot of Asheville's all over the country. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a big Asheville here in North Carolina, though. A real big one. Yeah. I used to do um in-store food demos where I'd go into the store and I mm -hmm. tried to talk your baby into taking a bite of food. Usually it was sausage or hot dogs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of sausage. I did um I did bass farm sausage for I couldn't tell you how many years. Thank you for the roses. I do appreciate them. But yeah, I did um bass and and Frito Lay, Oscar yeah. Meyer, they'd have me do the um the food fairs and and go down to the um fairs and stuff. It was pretty fun. Asheville was one of the um towns that I went to a few times. Thank you, thank you, thank you, April. Thank you. Yeah, I, I know about Asheville from well, my daughter lives in Winston Salem. Okay. Okay. And I know of a couple of YouTubers that live in or near Asheville. Right, right, right. I'm starting to do YouTube. I am. I'm starting to upload on YouTube, and I don't know if you know, but I got um, Facebook too. Is pretty. That's um, pretty sizable for me. I don't have Facebook because uh, my my ex has it. Oh, nice, right? So I don't have. Yeah, you know, I don't have an ex. I, I truly don't. So, yeah, I dated a guy for a little while, a couple of times, past couple of years, but. Yeah? Yeah, he's pretty wild, though, and I had to let him go be wild without me. <laughs> yeah. My wild days are over, you know. I'm about to hit 60 years old. So. Well, you're young. Yeah, I'm about to. Next year, I'll be 60. I turn 68 next year. Really? Yeah. It's a pretty good age. I'm starting to. I'm starting to. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I used to, I don't know. You know, my mama taught me that, and she taught me it good that you're only as old as you feel. And she, she drilled that pretty much into my head, you know, that you yeah. are whoever you want to be. And that was pretty cool of her. Yeah. Yep. So I'm making a dress is what this is going to be after I get done cutting out my pattern. It'll be a new dress that I've never worn before. And you're making the pattern from scratch? No, not this one. Not okay. this one. But I may modify it after I create it. 
Sure. Yeah. I, I, I have mom, a tendency to do that a lot. I remember my mother purchasing simplicity uh, patterns at the, right. at the dining store. And I think I got picking. a couple from my mama purchasing them. Yeah, my mama, she's she's more she's the she's the person behind me in this room. I mean, right down to that machine right there. That was the first one she gave me. Was that one? Uh huh. Yeah, I worked magic on it. It's um, it does all my lace work. I have it rigged up to to thread it up and then down to do I have it thread I thread it special for lace and metallic thread. Metallic thread. Yep, that's that's probably my favorite machine my mama gave me. Is that one right there? It was the first one. I don't know what that square's for. Is your mama still with us? No, no, she passed away in 2021. Jojo passed away December 2019. And um, then my mama passed away in 2021. And I'm so sorry. It, it's okay. It's okay. This room, this room here is full of memories of my mama. A lot of that artwork I did just for my mom. Yeah. Well, she's, still, she's still there then. She sure is. And so is Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, right down to my very first artwork. Then some, you know, my mama used to challenge me to make things from scratch and out of my brain. And so, you know, she's not going to leave this room. She's right here with me. She is. Yeah. And, and Joe used to sit in here all the time, like I said. And he'd watch, he'd watch a movie up there on the TV or something. Yeah. And occupy himself. Go outside and he'd pick me a rose and come back in and bring it to me. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All good memories. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to go nowhere anytime soon. I'm pretty stable where I'm at. I worked hard. Well, I know I'm not going to work anymore. I do. I, uh, Worked almost 40 years for the post office. Growing their retirement. I don't need anything. Yeah, that's what they tell me, though, you know, because I don't, you know, I used to be in the Army. And um, I don't know. I ain't never checked down to see if I'm eligible for disability or not i probably am but i've never i've never ventured there i just live one day at a time because you know yeah yeah i just recently helped out a friend of mine um he needed a place to stay, and I let him come down and stay here. I had to get him. He was in. He was in my room here, and I had to 
that wasn't going to work for me. But that's part of my sleeve. Say hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> you're not in the least bit silly, are you? Huh? I say you're not in the least bit silly. No, never. <laughs> never. Never. I'm almost got this done. Then I got to take and take fabric and cut that out after I survey which pieces I want to keep. Because you know, right. Clothes just have too much fabric. I don't know if you know that. But they do. Clothes are. See, I like to cut everything up. Notice the shirt is just whacked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, One of my favorites, too. I'm almost done here. They say this here piece right here is to go in your torso because this is made patterns made for a tall person and I'm not a tall person. So I'll probably not even use this piece. Because I'm not a tall person. Okay. I used to be 5'11 and a half, but I don't know if I still am or not. After all oh, these years. Tall person? Yeah. I don't know how tall are you. Well, I used to be within a half inch or six foot. Five eleven See, and a I'm half. I'm only like five foot three. I'm short. Yeah, I was trying to judge from your surroundings how tall you might be. Yeah, I'm short. I ain't Sorry. nothing wrong with that. Well, that's a fair pair going for you. I ain't worried about it. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Yep. 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 Sure do. But yeah, I got my pattern all cut out. I don't know if I'm going to like it as much as my other designer, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Hey. Never yeah. know what we try. That's right. But I'm going to go for now. And well, it was so nice. I, I, I'm very happy that you invited me in. I'm very glad yeah. you came in. Thank you. Well, it was it was nice spending time with you. Thank you. I'll talk yeah. to you later. Sure enough. All righty. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.